Hello, this is Cycle 2, Week 22, New Grammar. Let's get started. History sentence was really fun. We did a dress up for it. So dress up for my communist leaders. Um, a parent brought in us some ties, and so um, our communist leaders got to wear some ties. When it was their cue, they stood up on their, had everybody divided into sections. Communist leaders stood up. The communist dictators began to fall, fall down. In Eastern Europe, hold up your E. We can all be holding it up from the floor. When Soviet President Gorbachev, and my Soviet President Gorbachev was wearing my husband's old suit jacket, Soviet President Gorbachev refused to back them up, so he's gonna turn around, show his back, back them up with military force. Here's my military, they're gonna stand up on their time, military force. I'm kinda low on my dress up for military. So, just anything that looks like it'd be part of a military or warrior group, that's what I use. So, with military force, and they can point their guns. Okay, geography, super easy, because all we really had to do was add on Peru from last week, since last week kind of combined a little bit of Central and South America together for our, our vocabulary. So, we have Nick the Elf. This is from Randa Clay. We have Nick the Elf. Um, he's really cool. We went over the vocabulary again that we visited last week, and he just visited Peru. So point out where Peru is this week. That's it. Because you had Costa Rica, Panama, and Peru was that whole thing, and so you just had to find Peru because last week we visited all of that. Okay, math, the commutative law. We have our light-up smackers that I got for a dollar. Printed out pieces of paper that just had the commutative law written on there, and all together, we went ahead and just tapped our smackers while we said it. So the commutative law for addition is A plus B equals B plus A. The commutative law for multiplication is A times B equals B times A. There you go. That was math. Let's do English. English, um, we had our coordinating conjunctions were fanboys. And so for my fanboys, since it's spells it out. Um, I wanted to go ahead and use these little, what are these, report cover labels. Just drew a big old F, A, what's the next one, N, B, O, Y, S. Individual ones made it really easy to come to class, stick it all in a row, and have the kids jump. So they would go, English, coordinating conjunctions, fanboys, jump on the F, F, Four, jump on the A. A, and, jump on the N. N, nor, jump on the B. <coughs> Excuse me, B. But, jump on the O. Or, jump on the Y. Yet, jump on the S. So, and there you go, we had each kid do it and try to space them far apart so they have more fun and it's a little bit more of a challenge. English, also a little bit of a leaping exercise. We're trying to get all those energy bugs out of them today. Um, so Latin was the first conjugation pluperfect tense. I looked and I looked and I looked. And the best thing that I could find for the pluperfect tense is it starts with the sound aram, right? Which sounds kind of like ram, right? Okay. And then you have your pluperfect tense. Well, plu sounds like blue. So we have a blue ram is perfect. The blue ram is perfect. So here's my blue ram and he's Perfect, so you just start singing, and we have the kids start at one end of the gym. Aram, eros, erat, eramus, eratus, erunt. First conjugation, pluperfect tense. There you go. Science was the best part of this. Science are, what are three characteristics of light? Got my flashlight. Three characters of light are Characteristics of light are reflection, refraction, see how that's refraction, where it looks like it kind of gets cut off right there, okay, refraction, and then prism, this is the best prism that I could find, we had all the lights turned off for this section, and prism, so you're going to shine the light through your prism and try to have a prism that shows all the spectrum of colors, or I'm sorry, so it's spectrum, <laughs> so spectrum where you have the whole prism of colors right there showing through. So again, we had all the lights turned off. So just one by one, the kids 
would point with their flashlight with each section. Worked out really good until the kids decide to turn off the light and it's totally dark in there and you can't find anything. So maybe have a spare flashlight if you do this. So there you go. Um, science, that, and then we have timeline. Lots of sign language, so hopefully I'll get it right. North Atlantic Treaty Organization, the Korean War, Martin, there's your M, Martin Luther King Jr. and the Civil Rights Movement, so you just take your right hand and fly it up. Jim and Elizabeth Elliot, there's your E. Missionaries, there's your M, missionaries over your heart, missionaries to Ecuador, there's your E, and it's kind of on the equator, so Ecuador, the Antarctic Treaty, the Vietnam War, and then U.S. astronauts, there's our spaceship going up, U.S. astronauts walk on the moon, so they're supposed to be doing a spacewalk, and there's timeline. Presidents that we added were Nixon, like you're going to nick something, Nixon, Ford, we're driving a Ford, Carter, driving a cart, and ray gun from like last week's history sentence ray gun so you have your ray gun okay and that's it all right that's week 22 in a nutshell have a fun week